Okay, grade 11, let's look at this November 2016 question. I've put in the two definitions for you already. Define the term concentration amount of solute per liter of solution. Define the term empirical formula. Empirical formula is simplest whole number ratio between elements in a compound. Now, let's have a look at the questions here. 8 grams of Na2S2O3, this is sodium thiosulfate, is dissolved in water to prepare 500 cubic centimeters of solution. Calculate the concentration of the sodium thiosulfate solution. Okay, you've got two choices here. What you can do is you can turn this mass into moles using this formula. And then once you've got the moles, you use C equals N over V to find the concentration. Or what you can do is you can go straight here where they've substituted the N into this formula. Remember, N equals M over M. So they've just put M over M in place in this formula. And then you do it all in one step. So this is my choice, C equals M over MV. Remembering that I can't put the fraction in here. So this is M divided by MV. Okay, so this is the formula we're going to use. In order to use this formula, what do we need? We need the relative molecular mass of this Na2S2. Oh, 3 excuse the lack of subscripts. So sodium's 23, we've got two sodiums. Sulfur is 32, we've got two sulfurs. And oxygen is 3, so we've got three oxygens, which are 16. And if we put this all in our calculator, we should come to 158. Okay, so once we've got that, we can use the C equals M over MV here. Okay. So let's have a look here. What are we going to get? What is the mass? It's 8 over MV158 That's not a bracket. Okay, 158 times the volume of 500 cubic centimeters of solution. Is this in cubic decimeters? No. So we're going to put 0, 0,5 in here. Okay, so it's 8 over 158 times comma 5. So let's work this out in our calculators. And we get 0, 0,101. So I'm going to say this is 0, 0,10 moles. This horrible middle dot per cubic decimeter. What did it go and do that for? Okay, so computer has a mind of its own. There's my answer to this part. This is my concentration of sodium thiosulfate. Now it says to you, a 10 gram sample of a compound contains 2,66 grams of potassium, 3,54 grams of chromium, and 3,81 grams of oxygen. Define the term empirical formula. Empirical formula is the simplest whole number ratio between the elements in the compound. Determine the empirical formula of this compound. Now you might note that this question's got absolutely nothing to do with the other half of the question, but it's fine. We can figure out this empirical formula for seven marks without a problem. So here's my little handy table so that we can keep track of everything. So what have we got here? We've got potassium, which is K, which you have to know, chromium, and oxygen, and these are in a ratio. So what is the M of this? The big M of potassium is 39. The big M, remember we're getting this from the periodic table of chromium is 52. And the big M of oxygen is 16. Okay, so once we've got these values here, we have to turn them into moles because remember that's what we have to do. So in all of these, we're going to use N equals M over M, okay? So let's have a look and let's batch this. I'm not rewriting that formula every time, but you know you're supposed to. So this one is potassium. It's going to be 2,66 divided by, divided by 39 with our calculator. Um, 0, 0,068 over here we've got 3,54 divided by 52 
I've got 0, 068, which as you may notice is the same as that. And over here, also using n equals m over m, we've got 3,81 divided by 16. Okay, 0, 0,238. Okay, so now we have found the number of moles that each of these masses are. What do we need to do? We need to divide by the smallest number. So all of these are going to be divided by the smallest number. So what is the smallest number? 0, 0,068. Okay, so this one's going to be 1. Okay. This one's also going to be 1. And we're going to divide this one by 0, 0,068 and it's going to give us a different number. It's going to give us 3.5. Now remember, I once warned you about this last year. If something is almost exactly 3.5, we do not round it up. We round up things that are like 3,999, 3,8. Um, we round down like 4,01. But if we've got a half, almost exactly a half, then to find the ratio, we actually are going to double all of these because this half is it's actually not it's not a whole number and so we need whole numbers okay and it's not going to be it's just this is just what you do okay remember I warned you about this last year if you've got an exactly a half you're going to double it and so then we're going to end up with two two and seven okay so once we've got this 227, what does the question ask us to do? Determine the empirical formula of this compound. So at the end here, we have to write down, because we are genius, we can't go genius, I've solved the sum, we have to go genius. The question, what is the empirical formula? And it is K2Cr2O7. This is actually potassium dichromate, which is used for a lot of things. It's um, orange and green. It's used for testing for breathalyzer tests and things like that. And they quite like it. So you see it quite often. So if you got this one is to one is to three and a half, you should think about chemicals that they use commonly in these questions, which is why we do lots of past paper questions. And potassium dichromate is one of them. And this is the empirical formula. And we are done with this question.